don't compare your day one or day ten or whatever day it is to someone else's day hundred. It was. I'm gonna just compare myself to how I was six months ago. And six months ago, I did not enjoy the gym as much as I do now. People, be more disciplined. Small steps are better than no steps at all. That little breeze giving me that bottle effect. Mm. Mm. My breakfast, I got wheat bix, bananas and blueberries. Chucked it with some, what is this? <laughs> with blueberries. Did I say that already? And maple syrup. Mm. Yum. Hello guys, I am just about to work out, but I just wanted to show you guys my new leggings that is <laughs> so bright red. I love them. I'm easing my way into wearing like brighter colors to the gym. Obviously, I'm not going to the gym because it's in, you know lockdown. So, you know, I'm going to my home gym <laughs> wearing these leggings. I just want to feel more confident wearing brighter colors, and this is this is next level. Everything I'm wearing is <laughs> from Elite Eleven. <laughs> so, need to sponsor me already. Like, I am obsessed with Elite Eleven clothing. Just so it literally feels like buttery goodness. Yeah. Don't mind the messy. It's not that messy actually. It's just clothes. I I I went fast. Also, if you ever feel like you're not motivated enough to go to the gym or work out or anything like that to move your body, listen to this. It's as simple as being disciplined. Honestly, I always think about how I how good I feel after it. Like I feel so good about myself because I'm taking care of my body. You know, working out and and all that stuff so yeah just think about it think about the benefits of working out and how you feel I guess after it you never leave a session feeling crap you actually always feel better so think about how you feel after you work out people be more disciplined with whatever it is your goals are in life okay small steps are better than no steps at all okay thanks for listening well, to, to my speech time to work up With that said, I had to take off the fives on each side because I feel like I was feeling a bit on my lower back and I don't want to risk, obviously, any injury. So I stopped it at, how many reps did I do? I stopped it at four reps because I feel like I was rounding my back too much and I am prioritizing my form over trying to lift heavy. So yeah, I'm trying to do as much as I can with good form. So yeah, I'm still proud of myself. I hit PB today and I'm... So happy. Feeling strong today. Mm. Mm. <gasps> cool, I saved it.
myself for today. Thanks for watching. Just have a chat with you guys. If you're going through a little bit of a, I don't know, I say self-love journey. You gotta realize that you are perfect in your own unique way and you shouldn't be comparing yourself to other people. Okay, so right now I am literally just focusing on myself and staying in my own lane. I'm not looking at other people and seeing how far they are right now. I'm just figuring myself out, you know. I'm just taking it day by day. I'm not going online and scrolling through, I don't know, Instagram and looking at the popular fitness people, you know, with like pop and body that's the thing we kind of get used to looking at other people and comparing ourselves to them and the thing is their journey is so different to yours it's different to mine it's different to yours once you realize that it just kind of takes off the weight from your shoulders because you're just kind of like oh yeah, well, I'm gonna just compare myself to how I was six months ago and six months ago I did not enjoy the gym as much as I do now I don't I didn't enjoy working out as much as I do now that Sun don't compare your day one or day 10 or whatever day it is to someone else's day 100 like people have been at at it for years you know that is why they, their body is that way and they have had a lot of discipline along their journey to get to where they are so don't ever put any other people down because you know they have a better looking body than yours that's really unfair and that's not nice because you don't know how hard they worked for that body so if you really want your dream body, you have to work for it. You've got to stay disciplined and you've got to work for it. And I don't want to encourage you to just work out for the sake of getting your dream body because I feel like if you just work out just to look good, I feel like it won't really be a long-term sustainable lifestyle for you because you're just tying your self-worth to the appearance of your body. And I feel like you'll get discouraged if you don't see results within like a month or two months. You'll just give up on yourself. There has to be a deeper meaning as to why you're working out. So, like, think about things beyond the, the appearance of your body, if that makes sense. But that's a little bit of a spoil on my thoughts on the whole fitness working out. Stop it. Just appreciate your body for how much it does for you because you only have one body. You might as well enjoy living in it. I know how hard it is to try to love yourself, but it does take time. So we have all the time in the world. Start today. Today is your day to start loving yourself. Okay. Better read it. Please.